Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. Today we have a full body intermediate class. This class is going to leave you feeling amazing. So let's go to the mat with me. We're going to start the class with sit up position in a diamond leg position here. Okay, so feet together, knees apart, hands underneath the thigh. And just rock to the left and right, forward and back, and just find a comfortable sit on your pelvis. And once you have that, nice and tall with the spine, you may close your eyes for a second or just keep the gaze rather dim towards the floor here. I like to start my practice with some breathing. It's just going to set myself right, set my mind right for the practice and allows me to really be able to go deeper into my practice. So let's go ahead and do that. Inhaling as much as you can, as long as you can, as deep as you can. Exhaling out through the mouth. And taking a moment here to just listen to our breath. The rhythm of our breath. The music of our breath. Bringing our focus quite deep into our body here. Slowly shutting out all that external music that you may hear with your ears, but just tune into your own music, your own internal music of your breath. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you inhale, there's a sense of lightness, a sense of lengthening through the spine. Rooting in good energy into your soul. And as, as you exhale, a sense of heaviness, a sense of groundness to the mat. Inhaling. I almost feel like as I inhale, I want to float off the ground. I feel so light. I feel so expanded through my body. Just like a balloon with a helium gas in it. And as I exhale, I've got that string pulling down on that balloon to ground myself down to the floor so I don't float away to the space. Exploring a different sensation as we breathe in and breathe out here. Let's do one more here. Inhale. Float away, lengthen away. Whatever word that works for you on the inhalation. Exhale, anchoring, grounding, heaviness, setting down. Beautiful. Let's open our eyes here. Whoa. What a vivid color. I love it when I just sort of wake up or not just open my eyes from breathing. I just have this beautiful color in my eyes. And that, my friend, is a beautiful sensation. And let's go. As I inhale, I want to stay tall here. As I exhale, I want to round my back. Let's come and go follow me. Curl the spine here. Inhale, that similar sensation or the same sensation of floating up in the space. To grow, exhale, grounding down, but yet still have that sense of lightness in the body. In breath, floating away into the space. Exhale, rounding the back and just using the breath to warm up the spine. Inhale, exhale. We round. Inhale. And lengthen it. Take your arms forward here. And you also welcome to keep your arms here on underneath the thigh for some support. Exhale. We round the back again. Then we're going to roll back. 
reaching the arms forward and can we get that sacrum and lower back onto the floor if you have your hands forward then bring your hands on the back of your thigh for some support you're welcome to and exhale as we come back up again we'll lift the spine at the end in breath exhale now as you roll back watch your pelvis is it even Mine tends to drop and sing on my left side. I'm trying to activate my left abdominal to keep it even. And exhale. Perhaps you can have a quick scan as you roll up and down. And exhale. Roll back. Observe. Watch. Fix it if you can. In breath. Exhale. We come forward. We we'll lift up and rounding rolling back sacrum lumbar spine going to deep flexion here and stay in that flexion we open the arms to the side we exhale deflating the arms reach your arms forward inhale open the arms on the side exhale i'm imagining i'm playing with the piano accordion here as i exhale i compress in as i inhale let expand out using my breath Exhale, sh compressed in. Two more. Inhale, expand out. Exhale, sh last one. Imagine that resistance in your arms as you move. Hold it and inhale. Exhale, let's come up. Rounding, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, and we lift the spine tall. Again, we exhale, we round. We roll back. We roll back. We roll back. Go to the lower spine, stay, inhale, we open. Exhale, lift the leg closer to me, up. So your thigh is in external rotation, lift. And down, exhale, and down. From the hip joint, lift. And down, two more, lift. Last one, and then lift. Take it down, other side, lift. Make sure the pelvis is even, keep a close watch of it. On it, lift. Exhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Two more. Last one. Now, can we do both legs up, pulling in? Whoa, it's heavy, but we made it. Legs together. Lower the chest and arms to the T position. Pull our spine, twist to spine. Knees are tight together. Over to me as we inhale. Moving from the waistline. Anchor the shoulders down. Exhale, come back. In breath, over. I'm thinking that as I do this, I'm lying on the sand. My shoulders, my arms are sinking into the sand. <sighs> Supporting my legs. As they rotate, come back. And in breath, exhale, in breath, exhale, one more each side, in breath, exhale, center, last one here, in breath, exhale, thank you for working out with me today, I love it. Lower one foot down, second leg down. Half your feet in a parallel position and take your arms down by the side, moving to our pelvic curl. Imprint the feet firmly to the ground and gentle pull of the feet towards your pelvis to activate your, the back of your leg muscle. Then we breathe out to lengthen the lower back to the floor. Your pelvis will start tucking up here. And then firmly press the feet and articulate the spine up to the bridging position. Sending the pelvis towards the knee, sending your fingertips to your heels, opening the chest, sending your neck away from your shoulders. Then as you exhale, we melt the spine down. Now I'm pretty sure that you have done a lot of pelvic curl in your life. Now can we make the pelvic curl today a lot more meaningful than you ever, ever, ever have done, ever. All right, then we exhale, so give a good intention. Feet firmly press, engaging the back of your legs, and then using abdominal. Can we go a little deeper? Can you go a little bit more movement in each vertebra? And then once you're at the top, can we get a little bit more of that heat 
in the hamstring, a little bit more of that power through the back of your leg. So you lift the pelvis higher. Are the legs shaking? Maybe they are. They should be if they're doing a notch more than you normally do. And then exhale, roll down. Are we melting more? Getting into a deeper flexion and release. We want to be better than what we've done yesterday. This wet's how we improve ourselves. And exhale, better mean deeper work. Perhaps slightly more repetition. Perhaps. All right, inhale. Exhale, melting down and down. Deep curl, deeper and deeper. And again, in breath. Exhale, lengthen the lower back down and we curl it up, pressing the feet, pressing the arms, reaching the whole spine down to your knees and up towards the tip of the head. So the opposite direction. Let's take the right leg up to a tabletop. Ha. Huh. Then we roll down for a single leg. Pelvic curl in breath. Exhale, roll up. Press down with the feet and up with the pelvis in breath. Exhale, melting down and lengthening down to the floor as we go down. One more time in breath. Exhale, pressing down with the feet and up with the pelvis. Rolling up, press down with the arms. Put your body up and lower the foot down. Readjust the pelvis, then we take the other leg up. We exhale, we roll down. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we press down to lift up, up, up. In breath, we press down to curl down. Release. In breath. Exhale, roll up, up. Up, let's do one more on this side. Exhale, I think it's one extra rep than the other side, but that's okay. And release, one more time. Exhale, press down, two, roll up. This is my weaker leg, that's why. Exhale, we roll down. So I'm making you work more with me. All right, and release the foot down. Interlacing the hands behind your head for the chest lift. Feet are still hip width distance apart, parallel position, knees are pointing up. Then inhale to lengthen and as you exhale, lengthen the lower back down to the floor so you can fold the upper chest up. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, come on down. Exhale, we fold as you lengthen the lower spine. Can we go into a deeper flexion? Can we go into a high lift at the chest? Yes, we can. And exhale, come down. And exhale, we lift, lift. We fold more, we lengthen the spine, we let the head rest into your hands like a hammock. And we come down, next breath out. Again, we breathe out, we lift, inhale, lengthen, exhale, we come down. And again, we're gonna take it to single leg lift, no, we're gonna take it to leg changes, exhale, I corrected myself there. Stay, leg closer to me, up to tabletop, and then we lift the other one as we breathe out, switch. We switch and switch, deepening that abdominal wall to the spine. Lengthen the spine, the lower spine down to the floor. Exhale, exhale, head is heavy in your hands. Exhale, exhale, one more, last one. Both legs are up, grab the hands behind your thigh, bend the elbow, use your arm muscle to come up more. Okay, now transfer the hands back behind your hip. Lower one foot, second foot, rotate to me. Chest lift with rotation, other side. Can we get the shoulder blades in the same height all the time and even high each time you rotate? Exhale, exhale, pelvis stable. I did say that before, I'm gonna say it again. 
And I'm just giving that constant reminder for myself. And I want to imagine I got a cup of tea or a champagne glass resting on my pelvis. I do not want to spill the tea on my champagne on myself. One more each side. Lift. And center. Come back towards me again and to the other side. Lift the leg up. Grab the back of your thigh. Pull up higher. So you get yourself a little higher off the ground. And now here, hold, hands behind the head, switch the leg, rotate to the other side. Hands behind the thigh, lift up higher. All right, can we get both shoulder blades off the floor and even more so on the side, on the right side, my right shoulder here. Then hands behind your head and then we twist with single leg, not single leg, leg changes. I keep saying the wrong thing. I'm saying leg changes. Rotate, 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 and stay up. One more each side. Last one. Center hold, squeeze the thighs together, hands onto the shin, pull the knee closer, curl your bottom up, lift the chest a little higher, Curl the bum up higher more and then rock up to rolling like a ball. And we have the hands just above the ankle. Balance on your tail, rounding the back, yet still lengthening the spine away. Shall we? Feet off, lock the arms. We go. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. And can we do a better rolling like a ball than yesterday? I think we can. We just gotta be a little bit more aware. Where is your body in space with this position? If you tend to fling your legs away, can we lock the legs down, use your arm and recruit more lower abs? Get more flexion. One more. And there. Right, lift the feet, hands on the shin. Pull back with the abdominal as you push forward with the shin to your hand. Roll down slowly, slowly, slowly to the double leg stretch position. We inhale, you reach the arms and legs like boomerang. Exhale, we drag the legs, come in. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, come in. Inhale, reach. You know, when I do this at home, my daughter likes to stand on my belly, but she's very light. So she actually helps me to get deeper into my abdominal. So now as I practice this, I'm thinking she's standing on my belly, she's standing on my belly. So I can really keep my lower spine down on the floor. And She's only four years old and she's been doing it since she was one years old. So it's been four years of training. <laughs> Last one, in breath. Exhale, we stay. Lift the chest higher and we roll yourself up. Ooh, that's quite punchy. All right, legs up, grab the ankle, open the knees. Lengthen the spine. We're gonna do open leg rocker. First of all, we're gonna stretch the legs out. And we back. Just assist ourselves to find better balance in our center and better anchoring in our pelvis and also stretching your legs. You know, some days I have really, really flexible legs. I feel like I'm a gymnast. Some days, not at all. Where I can really hardly straighten my legs. So today I feel like not quite a gymnast, but getting there. Last one, I'm sure I'm gonna feel like a gymnast after this. Hold that and so are you. So straighten the legs, power through the spine here and let's go rock back. Forward, lift, lengthen, rock back. Forward, lift, lengthen and we round. As I come up, I'm thinking that string pulling my head off to the sky and two more. Lift, and last one. And we'll lift, legs together, hold them tight. Take the hands off, take the elbows back, hands down, 
forearm down. Here we go. Bend the knees to a diamond or frog position. Flex the feet here. Now I need to push the forearm down and power through that chest forward, but your pelvis is in a slight flexion. Then we extend for the frog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, drag it in. Now imagine you want to push that drawer. You have a drawer in front of you. We're going to push that drawer too close. We're going to drag the drawer too open towards you. Push the drawer too close. So your heel sits in the same height all the time. And one more. And there. Extend the leg straight up to the sky. We point the feet for the circle. Down to the drawer height. Open. We close. Down. Open. We close. Down. Open. And close. One more. The other way. And we'll lift. Out, down. And lift. Out, down. And lift. Two more. And lift. What is your pelvis doing? Is it even? I hope it is. If not, can you fix it so it's more or less the same? Now hold that same height, the draw height. We beat the legs. Tap, 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 tap. And go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We hold. We bring the legs parallel. We lower the feet. We push the chest and readjust yourself on a mat for your back support. Okay, hands behind you. Your heels are slightly apart. Your fingertips are facing forward to your bottom or slightly to the side. All right, imagine you have a ruler in your spine. That spine needs to be as long and as straight as that ruler. So we're not slouching here, yeah? All right, here we go. Anchor the heels, push up, open across the chest, neck long, we fall down. Again, we push up and down. All right, and push up. You're really just moving through the hip joints and through the shoulder joints. Your spine should be in a long neutral position here. And again, press up, down. Last one, press up and brilliant. Coming up, flex the feet, open them slightly wider than the pelvis. We're going to interlace your hands, the back of your head. Now here, allow your spine to go tall, adjust your legs accordingly. If they can go straight, amazing. If they cannot, that's okay. Just straighten as much as you can. You're still getting really, really excellent work in the body here. So we go, rotate to me, center. Anchor the pelvis. You do not rock the pelvis. You move through the spine, center, and, and you're just scanning your gaze in front of you in the horizon. So allow your head to travel with the spine. Don't let your head turn by itself, but allow the spine to, the rest of the spine to guide where you're looking at. Now here, kind of like a saw, we rotate, we reach forward, and we round back. Center, rotate, hinge forward diagonally, and we round back and up and center. Rotate, fall forward, round and center. Twist, fall forward and round. Allow your head to gently press into your hands as you come up. And again, last set, twist. Hinges forward, roll up. Lift, last one, twist, hinge forward, long spine, roll up, up, center. Brilliant, let's turn, face me, for our side kick. Elbows, down, lifting through the underneath waist, fingertips slightly behind the head here, or ears. Take the top leg for the side kick, dorsiflex, we go, inhale, point. Exhale, inhale, point, exhale. Imagine you're moving through a pool of honey. You know, you have that resistance forward and resist backward and forward and back. Speaking about honey, I just love the New Zealand honey. My husband is from 
New Zealand. And every time we go back to New Zealand, I always have gallons of honey with me. It's amazing. The Manuka honey is just so great. All right, and then reach sidetrack there. But I just want to let you know, I love honey. And last one, forward. And then back we hold, we tap, bring it up and down and bring it up and back and bring it up and forward. So round the jump, lift up and forward and then round the jump, run about and half run about and then up and back and up and forward and up and back and up. Last one and up and back. We we'll take it in and we come up, we go to the other side. Here we go. Uh, elbows, left, armpit, rib cage. All right, reach up, flex, and we go forward. Inhale, exhale. So if you're from New Zealand, kia ora. I know that word in Maori. And inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Kia ora is hello in English. And inhale. Last one. And back. And we go with tap. Lift up and over tap. Run the jump and back. Like a rainbow, we'll lift. Pick up that honey and bring it back. Pick it up and bring it forward. Keep the spine long. Don't sink. Keep the bottom abdominal, ribs and waist active. And down, we'll lift and back. We'll lift and forward. And last one, and back. Bring it together. Roll to your front. We've got back extension and some breast stroke. We have the hands to the side, legs are long. We go, pull up the, pulling up the abdominal, lengthening the legs away, inhale. As we glide the shoulder blades, we take our spine to extension like a rocket. Exhale, inhale, reach, lift, Exhale, inhale, reach, lift, exhale, last one. And we will we'll progress to our breaststroke, bend the elbows to W position, by the side of the rib cage. inhale, reaching the arms, down to the side, bend the elbows, exhale to lower, inhale to extension, Reach out, arms, hips, bend the elbows, and we go down. Inhale, make sure your legs are active here. Open, your neck is also long. And there, have that constant checkpoint as you do this breaststroke. So you wanna make this Exercise more meaningful than yesterday. Inhale. And out. And back. Elbows. And down. I cannot emphasize how important it is for us to keep training our upper back. And down. Last one. Inhale. And reach. And pull. And back. And we come down. That was brilliant. Push yourself off. A quick rest position. And we come to a quadruped. Align your hands. We're not far till the end of the class. Align your hands on with the shoulder, knees with the center of the hip. <sighs> Opening across the front of the chest and pick up the abdominal wall, hug it to the spine. Extend the leg closer to me behind you without collapsing in your pelvis. We lift the leg up without collapsing in the lower spine. Go past the pelvis, lift a little higher perhaps, and we go down. We we'll lift. Just imagine you're a table and I'm just taking one leg 
out from that table, but you still have that table-like behavior. And down. So we're not breaking your table here. And again, lift. And two more. Last one to hold, a little lift up, pulses 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, down and in. Okay, so you're back to four legged table. Take one leg out behind you without collapsing on the tabletop. We lift, we lower, we lift. We lower, we lift, strong through the spinal column, lengthening through the spine, strong across the front of the chest here, in case you stand on the floor. Let's commit to this movement and this shape. And two more. And last one. We hold, little pulses, 10 up and two and three and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten up, take it in, tuck the toes under, lift the pelvis high to a up stretch, <sighs> stick your booty out, and press the outer armpit down towards the floor, and just pull it back towards your feet a little bit more here, neck is long, and then we're just going to lower one heel down as we prance our feet and the other one down, prancing away. And, and again, and as you prance the legs, make sure your arms and your shoulders are active. And I want you to really create a great space between your shoulders and your ears here. And wide shoulder. And one more each side. And half both heels down. As your heels reach down to the floor, can we flick that bottom upward to the sky? So that's an outward rotation or upward rotation in the pelvis there. The arms are still firmly pressed to the ground. So if you are in the sand, you want to see that print of your hands and your fingers and dome your hands as you pull that energy from your hands to the armpit and armpit in towards your legs and the spinal column light and floating to the sky neck is two in breath exhale let's walk your feet forward to your hands walk it walk it walk in make sure your feet are in parallel position and soften the knee i just want you to rest your body onto your thighs and let your head dangle, let your neck dangle, let your shoulder be easy. Maybe a little bit wriggle, wriggle, shake around, feeling the gravity doing its job to open your spine in this reverse position. And then we in breath, as we exhale, we send our pelvis down and we articulate the spine gradually coming up to standing position. Firmly press your feet and lift the arch of your feet and keep that energy drawing up through the spine and out to the sky. A sense of floatiness, lightness through the spine as you inhale. A sense of heaviness through the feet as you exhale. And keep that two conversation going up and down, going as you breathe in and breathe out. One more. And well done. Thank you, my friend. I am absolutely zen and floaty. Thank you for being a beautiful, amazing star and completing the class with me. Hey, that was an amazing work. Make sure you keep yourself mobile. Do not sit down just yet. And keep that flow expanding out to surrounding. All right? And just, you know, be the better person than you are yesterday. So I have a date with you again tomorrow right here 
So I'll see you on the mat. Take care. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoy this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.